In this video, let's talk about the difference between all the time and all time and when to use them in your speech. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between all the time and all time. Now, I'm making this video because I had lots of questions on this last week, mainly because I made a video on the difference between the whole day and all day. And I let everybody know that you can't say all the day. So you can't say I worked all the day. That's incorrect. It's I worked all day or the whole day. Those are your only options. Now, in the comments, many students ask me about all time. So they're saying, should I say I work all time or all the time? Now, in this case, we need the article the. The expression is all the time. So yes, that means for the expression day, month, week, year, season, semester, quarter, those time references, we don't use the article the. It's simply all week, all month, all year. But time, we use the article the and it's all the time. I understand this is a confusing area of English and it's confusing for me as a teacher as well because these things just require memorization. When you need an article, when you don't need an article, you simply have to memorize them and look for patterns. So that's why I gave you all the words that follow that pattern, okay? So for the word specific time, we need the article the, all the time. Now let's take a look at this in an example sentence. I can say, I work all the time. Now, think about this. What does all the time mean? If you had to choose another word for it, it would be regularly. Regularly would be a good substitute for that word to have the same meaning. So now you have to ask yourself, well, regularly, that's a habit in my daily routine. So what verb tense do I need? And you need the present simple because we use the present simple to talk about routines. And we would say, I work all the time. Now compare that to all day. That would most likely be a past simple action. I worked all day. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All the time, routine, you can think of it as regularly. So we can use the present simple. Now you can also talk about routines in the past. And in that case, you would use used to and base verb. You could say, I used to work all the time, but now I don't. So that's how you use it and think about your verb tenses. So now leave two examples in the comments, one with the present simple, using all the time, and one with used to and base verb. So I used to mm, all the time. Leave those in the comments to get lots of practice with them. Now you're probably wondering about all time. The thing you need to notice is that there's a little dash that connects the words. That makes this an adjective. All time is an adjective, which means it describes a noun. We use all time in three specific situations, okay? So it's a pretty limited adjective, but I think these are common situations, so worthwhile to have in your vocabulary. Now, all time as an adjective, it means the highest, the lowest, or the best, okay? That's the meaning. So one situation where you would use it is I could ask you, what's your all-time favorite movie? 
Now, of course, movie, you can change that to whatever you want. So notice the structure. What's your all time as an adjective, favorite, and then a noun. So I could ask you, what's your all time favorite ice cream flavor? Or what's your all time favorite vacation destination, okay? And in this case, it means best, best. So now answer that in the comments. What's your all time favorite ice cream flavor? That's a fun one. So put your answer in the comments. Mine is salted caramel. That's mine. Okay, so you can use it all time favorite noun to mean the best. Question and in answer form as well. My all time favorite movie is, okay? Now, the other way we use it was, is with the words high and low. I could say the water level in this lake, the water level is at an all time low, okay? So that simply means the lowest, the lowest. It's another way of saying the lowest. But notice, an, our article, all time is our adjective, and then our noun is low, at an all time low. Now, I could also just replace that with high. I could say the water level is at an all time high. And of course, that means the highest. Now, this is pretty common because you could use this in a business context. For example, they might talk about how Tesla stock is at an all time high, or an all time low, right? So it's pretty common to talk about things as the highest or lowest. That's why this is useful to have in your vocabulary. As you can see though, all the time and all time are very different in meaning. And remember, don't confuse this to my previous lesson where I taught you how to use all day, week, month, year, season, semester, uh, quarter as well, where we don't use an article. So now it's your turn to practice all time, high and low. So put in the comments something that's at, at an all time high and at an all time low. Try those two examples in the comments. I think they'll make you sound very advanced. So now you know the difference between all the time and all time. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, so did you get your all time favorite ice cream flavor in the comments below? I hope you did. I'm excited to know what it is. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.